Well, I'm new to this first video ever. Um, I'm a car guy. My name is Pepe, and I'm working on a Delica 2000 um, head gasket. Has to be done. It has 70k on the clock. And sorry for the light. Oop. The bubbles are coming out of the the reservoir. Uh, usually that's because the exhaust gases are going through the head gasket and get into the coolant system part, coolant gasket, uh, and uh, and then well leaking the bubbles leaking on the reservoir. This uh, is a 2000 with 70k, so it wasn't driven that much. I imported it from Japan and uh, was trying to find you know videos of how to do this, and I couldn't find any. So I just start to I mean I find some, but they don't explain how. To, from where to start, how to remove the engine. As far as I know, my idea of my research, very little research, is that you have to pull the engine to make it easy because it's really hard to reach on the back. You see how tight this is? I'm going to switch the camera to show you more. Yeah. So here's the engine bay. So I started by removing, you know, that screw, that, that this is this plastic screws here. You know, they go there and I remove the bottom plate down here and drain the coolant bottom plate that is down here I can't barely see it anymore oh, no. so um, they said that it's possible with some special tool to get to the back of the head because this is a V6 same as Montero Sports Montero's 98 the same Mitsubishi engine and it goes all the way back there. So it's like, so you're supposed to get a special tool to get on the back, right in the back against the firewall, that right, right at the back there, to get the last spark plug and take the head gasket out. You know, I, when I do these kind of jobs, I like to remove the engine if it's possible. Why? Because then I can actually check everything in the engine and change all the gaskets and all that, or seals or whatever so that you know the engine is really nice and i know what i did when it was done etc i don't know anything about this engine it runs really well i drive about 3000 cases i bought it no issues at all but i had the bubbles in the reservoir so that's a problem and um so i bought a uh, the whole set from broke auto and i have to cross match you know the engine and so i'm hopefully everything that i got will fit in this engine and and so uh, usually, I think in the manual says, oh, you, you remove all this, you know, the intake manifold and everything, and then you can get into the back and all that. I don't care. I'm going to remove the engine. All these belts are destroyed when I was driving the last time. The AC belt got destroyed, so I'm going to remove all that. So, long story short, basically I'm removing the, the front bumper. After removing the front bumper, I can remove this, this, uh, I, I can remove basically this cross member I think uh, or a rat support sorry I think I can remove it maybe I'm not I cannot if I cannot remove the engine anyways I, I will pull the engine I may have to remove the intake manifold remove the engine this way I will have to figure it out so I will show you how guys how this works and how bad I do it I guess so you don't do it uh, you do it right when you do it that's basically Okay, so I will uh, keep going and record another video.